Hello guys, my name is Steve. I'm a liquid based support engineer at Adical, and today we're going to cover how to create your first migration using SQL scripts. To complete your first migration, you are going to create a formatted SQL change log in your liquid based project directory. Next, you will need to navigate to your project directory. You will notice that I already set up a liquidbase.properties file here for my project. For more information about liquidbase.properties, please see this page, uh, liquidbase.org forward slash documentation forward slash config underscore properties.html, uh, which explains a little bit on uh, what things need to be said in the liquidbase.properties to get you started um, with a little um, example at the bottom of the page. So the next st step we're going to do is we're going to create our change log. Um, we're going to right click text file and we're going to call it um, let's just call it change log .sql. After we created it, we're going to open it up and we're going to put a header right at the top of the file called uh, dash dash liquidbase uh, space formatted space SQL and that will tell liquidbase that this is uh, will be this will be defined as your change log uh, formatted SQL. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna add a change set. Uh, liquidbase change sets are unit of change that liquidbase can execute on a database. To add your change set, um, we're going to enter the following information. Um, when adding a change set, you, you change must be defined by both ID and attribute and author attribute. In this example, you can see that Bob is the author and one is the ID attribute. Now we're ready to deploy our changes by running the update command. To deploy your change set, open your command prompt and run the following command. So let's save this file. Close it and run the following command. So here we have the command liquid base. Uh, we're passing in a flag change log file equals the actual change log we've just created and followed by com the command update. Okay, so your database should now contain the table department. Um, we're going to go and check our database. Um, I have this tool over here, my SQL Workbench. Uh, you can use any IDE you would like. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and refresh. And you're going to notice three new tables. I'm going to talk about this database change log table. Um, so what happens in the first deployment is that Liquibus creates a tracking table called database change log. And what this change log does, this database change log table does, it keeps um, it enters entries as you go along and uh, run um, updates. Every time you run an update, there's a new entry uh, that gives you a little bit of information of what was the change. So as you can see over here, I have ID, I have author, I have the file name, and other properties. Uh, we have another table called database change log lock table, um, another table that Liquibase uses internally. Um, this table acts as a lock on the database when um, you're in the middle of deployment, so no other users do deployment at the same time and um, resulting in um, leaving the, the database in a bad state. And of course you have your actual table uh, called department. So uh, this is it for your uh, first change. Um, if you need to make some more changes, all you need to do is just open your change log file Add another change set and then run the update again. Thank you for watching.